And next week, President Park will embark on a five-day trip to Mongolia. She'll take part in the Asia-Europe meeting and hold summit talks with the country's president. Han Daoyuan shares with us the itinerary. Partnership for the future through connectivity. That's the theme for this year's Asia-Europe meeting, celebrating 20 years of cooperation between the two continents. President Park Geun-hye will take off for the summit, which will be the first multilateral meeting to be held after Britain voted to leave the European Union next Thursday. She's one of the more than 50 leaders set to fly to Ulaanbaatar, setting the stage for discussions on ways to counter the situation. As a founding member of the summit, Seoul will seek to cement its role in the region and garner support for efforts to denuclearize North Korea. President Park will also sit down with Mongolian President Chakia Alvagorj for summit talks aimed at upgrading their comprehensive partnership. They will also discuss ways to enhance cooperation in energy, infrastructure and exchanges of culture and people in a mutually beneficial way. Mongolia has the world's second largest copper reserves and is fourth in coal. The resource-rich country also successfully switched to capitalism from socialism through a democratic movement in the 90s. And President Alvagdorj showed support for denuclearizing North Korea during his recent visit to Seoul in May. President Park will also hold a business forum to link Korean entrepreneurs with local buyers and will meet with Koreans who live in Mongolia before flying back to Seoul on July 18th. Han Dan, Arirang News.